Hey again everybody, it's Max, you're doing it for her, as always, bringing you another UFC commentary, but before I jump right into this, let me say that uh, it's that time of the fucking year or whatever again, uh, YouTube's deleting more inactive subscribers, so um, yeah, it's making sub boxes glitch up and shit, so a lot of you may not have seen my latest Road to 100 Ranked Victories episode, so go check it out if you haven't, um, just go to my channel and look at it, it's two videos before this one. It didn't get that many views, so I was thinking maybe the sub boxes might have boned me. But, um, anyways, if you did see it, uh, I promised if it got 60 likes and 20 comments, we would do another two episodes in one video again. So, the next Road to 100 Ranked Victories you will see, I'll probably upload it tomorrow after this video, it will be uh, two three-round Cub Swanson fights in one video. So, hopefully you guys enjoy that, and it should be long, might be over... 20-ish 20, 20 minutes, so a lot of you guys have been requesting longer videos, so that's uh, my test. We'll see how it works and if it gets over. But what I'm bringing you today is just a player match I had with Matt Hamill. I never used him before this fight, so um, I do make a lot of stupid mistakes, and this guy clips me with some really good shots as I'm trying to like bob and weave, and uh, you'll see me do some other dumb stuff. I'll call it out later in the video. But... um. There are some really good movies out that I wanted you guys to check out. Just wanted to inform you guys about. Uh, if you have Netflix, you can watch them right easily from your Xbox or your Wii or your fucking PS3 or from your computer. Or you can order them if you don't have that privilege. Or you can just find them online. I'm sure you can find them free somewhere. Um, usually things that are on Netflix are easy, easy, easy as hell to find. And you can check them out and whatnot. But um, there are two good MMA movies. I just want to bring this to some of you guys' attention. Some guy even asked me on Twitter if I knew any good MMA movies on Netflix. So I thought I'd share all this with you if uh, you guys want to check them out since most of my subscribers are big MMA fans and are here for the UFC Undisputed 3 videos. One uh, movie, the first one, is on Matt Hamill, which is why I used him in this. It's not a documentary or anything. It's actually a real, real movie with a guy playing Matt Hamill's part. It's basically... Uh, I won't give any... Uh, Spoilers, only like little minor things to get you interested. It's just like, uh, a, not fully true, I know it can't be 100% true, but it's based on tons of true events. I guess it was some like, movie made by like, Tap Out Productions or something, I don't know how many they've actually made, but it says it at the beginning of it, but I think it was really good and goes over. It's not one of those movies that you can just, like, casually watch and text on your cell phone and shit while you watch it, because it's got, like, <laughs> subtitles because... Matt, you know, is deaf and stuff, and it shows him going through his life and interacting with other deaf people when he goes to this college. He goes to, like, a, a full deaf, like, wing of a college later on. It shows you how he met his wife and this and that, and it's pretty good. It shows the story of um, some stuff he went through. It doesn't really focus much on, like, his struggles. Uh, I guess it wasn't supposed to be, like, a sympathy movie, which I kind of enjoyed. It showed, like, some lighter parts and a little bit of hardship that he went through. It's overall a pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. I don't know what critics gave it or anything, or if anybody bashed it or anything, but as an MMA fan, and um, somebody that just enjoys a good story, I, I thought it was really good, and I do recommend it to all you MMA fans, or Matt Hamill fans, or somebody that wants to get a better look at Matt Hamill or something. I was never really a huge Matt Hamill fan. Um, he's born not that far from me. We both uh, born in Ohio, and stuff like that, so I never really really cheered hometown people, kind of, like, I mean, Rich Franklin's also from Ohio, and a couple other people, and Kevin Randleman actually is from my city and stuff, and a lot of people in my town have met him, but it gave me a cool little insight on him, and it was kind of cool for me also, because all these things that he went through and stuff like that in his life took place really close to me, so check it out, it's just, um, I don't know how long, it was about two hours, maybe an hour and a half, it's just going through his life, and Rich Franklin has a quick little role in there, too. He plays, like, some teacher. You only see him for, like, maybe a minute and a half of fucking time. But also, another movie on there that you guys could check out after watching that. It's a documentary on Gems Pulver. It's called um, Driven or something. It's, you'll see it. If you type in Driven or you type in Driven Gems Pulver somewhere, if you're trying to find it online, you'll find it. It's a documentary following uh, his last... I don't know, I'm not too big of a Jens Pulver supporter, so a lot of my facts aren't going to be right, but from what I got from the movie at the time, it was his last WEC fight, like his last UFC fight, I guess he was on a three-fight losing streak, 
and he was going in for this fourth fight, and he was like, didn't want to put his family through another loss and shit like that, and wanted to like get back in there and overcome some stuff. So he was going on this this final fight. If you are a Jens Pulver fan or you know his record, you should already know how the movie ends. But I don't really want to spoil it for you. It's just a documentary. But here I went for a submission. If Matt Hamill would have had good submission, I would have won this. I really just wanted to get a submission victory, but then I was like, oh shit, Matt Hamill's submission sucks. But if I would have had somebody with even decent submission, I would have fucking got that right there. I was so close, even with Matt Hamill's terrible submissions. But back to the Jens Pulver thing. It's just a documentary following him on this journey to that fight. Like, should you get a good look at his family, his son, and the bond he has with his son, and how his son wants to be just like him. I thought it was really fucking special. You guys should check it out. It's it's actually really good. And then it's really sad. Like I'm never one of those guys that falls for like the hype of a story because nowadays in today's entertainment industry and stuff like that, everybody's got a story. Like oh, I came from here. I went through this. I did this. Oh, this was so hard. I was abused. Like I've never fallen for that stuff or really looked too much into it. I mean, I care. I'll be I'll be uh, sympathetic, but I've never really like got as emotional and stuff as some people do because, like I said, everybody's got a story nowadays, no matter who you are, whether it's from how amazing it is to how awful you had it, everybody's got a story, you know, they could be like the loving father and this and that who grew up with a silver spoon in their mouth, or they could be the guy from the hood that did this, you know, I never really cared, but this made me care, kind of, Jens Pulver's story is really, really kind of heartbreaking, it's how he was just abused his whole life, and that MMA was made for him, and he's just... I don't know, trying to make it and get back in the game. It's actually really, really good. It goes through his training camps. Like I said, you get to see some awesome things with his child. and I don't know. You just you got to check it out. Uh, I watched it kind of half asleep, and uh, as soon as it ended, I fell asleep, so my memory of it's kind of vague. But what I do remember is that it's just a really good thing, and I do recommend it. It's The documentary is actually really well done. One of the better documentaries I see. A lot of documentaries I see lately are kind of... I don't know, shitty and well produced, but this one's actually really good. It focuses right on what it needed to focus. I don't want to give spoilers because that's a documentary. It's kind of hard to not give spoilers, but it follows him up until that fight. And there's a lot of heartbreaking interviews where he's just crying his eyes out and stuff, and talking about his father and his brothers, and it's pretty good. And then it shows him training with Scott Jorgensen and stuff, and getting prepared for this fight. And it, it was his final WEC fight, I think, and something like that. And he goes in, and right when he hits that fight, the movie ends, and it all led up to that fight. So check those guys, uh, those movies out, guys. I really wanted to share them with you and get um, my love of them out there because I think they do need to be seen more. So hope you enjoyed this fight. Look out for the next two Road to 100 rank victories going to be in one video, possibly tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you check out the movies. And if you have seen the movies, leave comments below on what you thought of them. See ya.